So welcome back, friends. I've got some really great news for you guys today. I interrupt this important broadcast. Hey, if you're not interested in this, skip forward to the five-minute mark for my furious rant. Another furious rant. It's been a while, but I had a lot of a lot of a lot of anger bottled up inside that <laughs> you might enjoy. So uh, skip forward to five minutes and uh, well, enjoy the rest. So a couple of weeks back, or yeah, I guess it's been a couple of weeks. I mentioned that uh, the possibility of maybe doing a Wrangler Star specific class out at Thunder Ranch with Clinton Heidi Smith. So I've been emailing and texting back uh, with them, trying to uh, inquire if this is something that's possible, and it is. So. I've been thinking, how am I going to make this fair to everyone? Because I've probably received uh, probably a couple of hundred emails uh, from you guys uh, expressing interest in wanting to do a class uh, out there. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, to make it as fair as everyone, uh, so everyone has a chance, uh, the same chance, I'm going to make the announcement this Monday at, let's pick a time, pick a time, what time? Let's say 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock Pacific. Should we do it in the evening time when people are home? five o'clock. Let's do it five o'clock Pacific time on my channel. Come to my channel uh, and we'll probably just do a live announcement. If I, if I don't have time to do that, to do that I will do a, uh, I'll just have a video that comes up at nine o'clock sharp. And that's going to give the details of the class basically, or, or essentially the time, the time and the date. We're shooting for something that's going to be around April. And what the class is going to be is, is that we're going to try one. And if this is successful and if it all works out and there's interest in it, we can do multiples. Uh, we're going to do a couples class. That's going to be um, man and wife, uh, man and girlfriend, newlyweds, anything you want. It's going to be a couples class and it's going to be urban rifle. Uh, it'll be a th right around a three-day class and it's going to be how to work together as a team. Both of you will be working. There'll be a lot of shooting. Uh, there'll be a lot of movement. It's a, very, it's a physical class. It's a very exciting class. I've never taken one before and I'm really excited because it would be nice for Mrs. W and I to work together on the same page and, and run drills together. And I think it'll just be a blast, but it's really gonna be a special class. There's only gonna be slots for about five couples. Um, we will be um, having dinner together. Um, uh, we'll be, it, we'll, we have a night where we'll be going up and having dinner with the Clinton Heidi. At, at, they, they've been very gracious um, and opened up their home for that. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. I, I'm just super, super excited about it. There's going to be some special things for the ladies. Uh, Mrs. W and, um, um, and uh, Heidi are going to cover a little bit about uh, food preparation and, and getting your house in order and and uh, all, all those sorts of things. Uh, and we'll have plenty of time. We'll be staying on site in the cabin, so we'll have plenty of time um, to, to interact, but it's going to be great. So it's going to most likely, I'll give the talk again, Monday at five o'clock, I'll give the, the specifics, um, but probably sometime we're shooting for the early part of this April coming up. Um, just what you're going to need, you know, you'll have to provide, of course, your own lodging, uh, food, those sorts of things. Uh, you'll have to, uh, if you have a concealed weapons permit, um, that will, will qualify for um, uh, vetting. Uh, if you don't, we'll have to, you'll have to you know, get a little background thing in the sheriff's department. It's very simple. Uh, we want to just be sure that whoever shows up, since we're casting such a wide net, um, that they are people that will be safe uh, for our family. So uh, know this, if you do get uh, chosen to come, um, that we'll make sure that we do everything in our power that there'll be some quality people there. I don't expect there any Wrangler Star subscribers to be otherwise. So once, once I make the announcement, you're going to need to get over there because it's going to be first come, first serve. You'll have to prepay uh, and you'll have to um, uh, try to get one of those first five spots. If we pick five and someone doesn't make the, the, the vetting process, doesn't make the, the cut, um, then we will go to number six on the list. So just because you didn't make it, you know, there, there will be a chance, there will, we will keep um, three or four alternates, probably five alternates actually be, to be correct. All right, so if you wanna kind of look into this and see what this is about, just go over to uh, thunderranch.com um, and look up the urban rifle class. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube about it. There's lots of information out there. You can kind of see what it is. It's going to be working with AR-15s um, and it's close in tactics. You know, it'll be maybe one day, I don't know all of it, I haven't done it, but let's say 25 years in, 25 yards in, uh, working with cover, uh, lots, of, lots of great stuff. It's, uh, I, I'm super excited. So be, get ready, get ready. Five o'clock on Monday, this coming Monday, we'll make the announcement. So be over the channel and be ready for that. And um, 
We'll just, let's, let's just do a live broadcast. We'll make it simple um, so everyone knows. All right. Good luck. We'll see you guys on the next video. Admiral Yamamoto, during the time of World War II, famously made a comment that you could never invade the mainland of the United States or it would be foolhardy to do so because there will be a rifle or rifleman behind each blade of grass. I, whenever I do this sort of video or, or share this tor part, this type of content in my channel, it brings out a lot of anti-gun people, especially Europeans. And to be honest with you, I don't care. Uh, I don't care about your comments. I don't care about your personal opinion because I... It's it's foolish for you to say I'm anti-gun or I, I this is foolish or you're paranoid or you're crazy. I would never do this. I, I think this is a bad idea. It's foolish for you as Europeans to say this when you no longer have the opportunity. We're I mean we can talk about Switzerland, but we are truly the only country that still has the right to look after ourselves and to protect ourselves. A God-given right, in my opinion. I place the the importance of this right up there in the top three or four essential things that we need to be doing as, as um, men of our homes is providing the ability to defend our homes, not living in paranoia, but not also not being foolish. You look at what's going on in the world. You look at uh, what took place just the other day or yesterday, was it, in New York, where a dirtbag rents a truck from Home Depot and attempts to take out as many innocent people in New York as possible. We had something similar that happened in, um, in Nice, in France. And look at the difference in the death tolls. What, I don't know, I haven't heard all the figures that came in, but from what I heard in, when, he, when he first started here yesterday, there was a brave police officer that was at the right place at the right time. It could have well been an armed citizen, not in New York, but in other places, um, that uh, put his plans, um, uh, changed his plans for him. And... Yes, it's tragic of the people that died, but look how much worse it could have been had he run rampant for um, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes before someone could have got him stopped. Because a, a disarmed society like we had in France, uh, look at the death toll. Was it over 100? I don't even remember. It was probably tenfold, if not better, than what we had here. And why? Because we had a, a strong man, strong woman, whoever, willing to take care of business and to provide for the defense. They saw that there was a need and had the abilities and the tools to do something about it. So this this notion from the Europeans that come in here or, or whoever, the Australians, the the New Zealanders, it's all they're all all you guys are in the same raft that this is crazy or paranoid. It, it just doesn't it doesn't I don't care. It just doesn't mean anything to me because you're saying something that you don't have any choice in. No longer have a choice. You've been essentially neutered by your government. You don't have that ability. And brainwashed by, by and large, I'm not speaking for everyone, but for many of you, into this idea that, uh, that, that, that self-protection or the ability to have is, is a bad idea. You know what it's like? It's, it's a common, to me, it's like a C.S. Lewis quote. It, was, it doesn't mean anything when you say, I refuse to do this. It, it's like the man that says, I the man that no longer has the ability to stand says, I refuse to stand up. It's like, well, of course you do. You can't stand up. So why are you even talking about it? You don't have the right to bear arms. You don't have the right to defend your family. So why are you even commenting about it? You don't know anything about it. You probably haven't even handled a gun. So be careful where you've got your information. You know, are you a product of uh, indoctrination? Are you a product, uh, a product of a government who has intentionally set out to brainwash its populace um, to remove their teeth? to essentially neuter them, to give, and why? Well, it all comes down to control, it comes down to power. And when you have a community, and you have um, a society that is well-armed, trained, men and women that know how to look after themselves, well, that's a, that's a tough nut to crack. And that is, it's our responsibility to look after our free freedom and to protect it. So I don't care, I don't care about your comments, I don't care about your perspective or your point of view, because I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. So, these. Sorry, I, I'm ranting, uh, but this is really. I'm really. This is really important to me. You need to take this sort of training. Uh, you need to seek out people. You don't have to go buy a class, but maybe find someone that knows something about it. And you need to take these steps, and you need to prepare your family because society's not getting any better. I'm not saying that we need to uh, defend ourselves from civil war 
or from an adversary outside, you know, that, that that's, needs to become the priority of our life. I'm not paranoid. I hear that all the time. That accusation is leveled at me. Well, you're just paranoid. No, I'm not paranoid at all. When I sit down in a restaurant with my family, with my back against the wall, watching the entrance, it's not about paranoia. It's about common sense. It's about living in a dangerous world and willing and having the ability to step up and to do something about it. I'm not paranoid at all. I sleep very well at night because I don't have to worry about the cops coming and saving me. I don't have to worry about some bad guy coming in and taking advantage of me or holding me against my will at gunpoint. I'm and my family have have taken steps to take care of this. So it's not about paranoia. It's about just being smart because things are getting bad in the world and they're not going to get any better. And if you don't think that this is ever happen, going, going to happen to you, then you're, you're naive at best and foolish at worst. So take these classes, uh, get involved, wh whatever it is. I'm not just saying this for Thunder Ranch. There's a lot of great trainers out there, but um, make it a priority in your life. You know, if you, if you haven't done it, do it, do it. It's important because an armed society is a strong society and um, it might come to the day where uh, uh, it might be too late. Um, and those abilities to, to get that training and, and hardware are gone. So that's my rant. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget, subscribe to Clint's channel here. I put it on the left. He's got a YouTube channel. And um, I very hope, Lord willing, that we will be doing um, many more things together. Thanks for watching.